to do one last stream before the Sunday evening's over. And then i um, got to go to work tomorrow. Uh, bear with me. I've left my phone somewhere, so just hold on. I'll put you on some music to listen to you real quick. One more refusal. I'll turn off the shortwave transmitter and leave you in your dark world forever. at some different bases. So apparently this is something that I have made. Uh, so I'm using channel pressure as a trigger for this and the, uh, the matrix on the virus so okay we can do that and then I found these uh, plug-in packs uh, they're not plug-in packs right sample packs from uh called Vintage Movie Vocals 1, 2, and 3. And they are from uh, Prime Loops. They're all public domain movies, actually. So that's kind of cool. Um, for sure, got a GPL license, like a 
they're public domain movies. One more refusal. I'll turn off the shortwave transmitter and leave you in your dark world forever. PCB is muted at the moment. So we're going to drop some of these uh, samples in here. Freak. Not where that's going. Blurk, blurk, blurk. There we go. No, I don't know. The day after tomorrow, it will be all over. The day after tomorrow, it will be all over. Oh my God, this thing is saving so incredibly freaking slow. The day after tomorrow. Jesus Christ. He's dead! He's dead! Here we go now. Here we go now. The answers. You see, is that turn you now to your regular boat? I know, no turning back. I know. Someone else. We have 
required situation. We have a required situation. We have a required situation. We have a re- So the samples are like uh, a GPL license. So So I can put that in my notes for sure. All samples are And there we go. Notes. <clears throat> they are public domain, Mark 1.0. Creative, they are. So, our choices make our destiny. It's what the name is called of this track. Uh, I'm going to have to dial that volume. One more.
lots of after aftertouch because a lot of that came from the Archura. Just like I figured, I got my hand on the motherfucking trigger. What a scene, make your ass start giggling. We pretty blind, crazy, cripple senior citizens. Part of the ghetto boys.
And it fades away from the drone. So I have the, M, uh, the MPD-218. It is an Akai controller. The software for that is fairly interesting, actually. Um, and it does... Uh, pads have polyphonic aftertouch that can be enabled. Plus, they have... Um, I like it as a drone box, right? Because I had my, I had a Digitac and, eh, you know, the drums on it were okay. Uh, but they were not, like, I didn't find it easy to program them at all. So I, uh, Ended up using it more for a drone box than anything. And the Akai, so I had the MK3, which is also a, a controller and it has pads, but um, I don't know. I find it easier. The pads are velocity sensitive on the MK3, but they do not have, uh, so they're not, uh, they don't have any aftertouch. That's always been a complaint. Like, as I get more and more into this stuff, right, I learn more and more about it. And uh, the, the aftertouch, so the MK3, this, DeepMind 12, and the Kurzweil all have the aftertouch. The Arturo Micro Freak has polyphonic aftertouch, and the Akai has polyphonic aftertouch. So, uh, I can, you know, uh, use those in lieu of a full keyboard. I'm looking to where the hell I save. And it saves it X amount of times up to four times. But I'm not being very well finding that for some reason. Which makes no freaking sense. Metronome. MIDI. Record. Save. Syncing and caching. Playback and recording. Uh, folder locations there, audio data, <clears throat> BST settings, initialization file, and advanced. There that is. Uh,
four changes. Okay, well, nothing has changed. Cakewalk's just saving freaking slow. Now it's saving again. Slow save. That's a cool funky art from the Archura. Okay, now... So, I'll go ahead and freeze down the NPC beat while we're sitting here visiting. Uh, yeah, we can do that. So, ideally, what I would like to do, guys and gals, and I just got to get the right hardware set up. Uh, so I want to offload all of my streaming over to the secondary computer uh, that I have, which is actually much better than the main computer I have. Faster processor, six cores versus eight cores. 4.1 gig on the four, six core, 3.0 on the eight. Uh, same amount of RAM, a little overclockage, but it's got the video card in there is the uh, GeForce GFX 1080 Ti SC Black Gaming Edition with 11 gigs of uh, Micron DDR5 RAN. It's a hell of a video card. So any kind of offloading of uh, video... I mean, I've got a, TI, a 1660 Ti with 5 gigs of DDR5 or, or something, but... Doing everything on one computer, like I'm finding out now, so all of the, uh, you know, multiple tracks recorded, uh, it just, you know, it eats up, eats up processor, and then having to stream on the same box, so I can offload to a faster box the streaming and capture it, capture it coming out of one of these monitors, because really all I need is the main monitor, the ones that you guys get into and see. And then I can audio out the the uh, audio from the from the Motus to each other, and I can set up cameras, keep the same camera setup, but I have to get some USB extensions for that because I got one here, one there, uh, and then so I'll still be able to capture the same video. I guess I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. I guess those cameras will have to be moved over there. I'll have to export the templates over to that computer. And then because uh, you guys are not on the main monitor at all. You're on the secondary monitor that captures. So, wow, yeah, I'm going to have to relocate all USB streaming, all the, the USB video cameras to that computer as well. Uh, and I don't even know if that's going to work. So I'm going to have to do some more investigation. I'm going to have to get on Reddit about it. See, uh, see how this actually all fits in together. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I know I'm going to have to have, uh, Stream capture card of some type, but my monitors aren't carrying all the data. The monitors only carrying one data. And I don't know if I can video in from separate sources. This, unless it USBs out and says that that's the source, but that's only still capturing one monitor not the, the other video associated to it. So, uh, yeah, a lot more in depth than I thought. So I'm not going to buy anything. I might have to talk to somebody. Uh, that's, I'm not, I haven't done any video stuff in a considerable 
long time. So I'm going to record the audio there. Rook. MF audio. Oh my God, it is saving this fucking project again. Wave state audio. I don't have to worry about the virus. It'll save itself. Falcon's done. Those are done. This is pissing me off. It's ridiculous. I may need to defrag that drive too, so that's that's okay. Um so fun fun on Mixcloud I did I haven't uploaded yet but I did a uh, like a dark mix a dark wave ish type mix um, some really cool stuff uh, will be once I get it all produced down I will be releasing that on Mixcloud <laughs> so uh, okay here we go I can chat with you while this is occurring. One more, if you will. Um, I'll turn off the shortwave transmitter and leave you in your dark world forever. So I was looking at a uh, HDMI capture card, right? So it loops in and out, and then it goes over the USBs over there. But I don't know, still I don't know if that's exactly what I need to have happened. Um, like, and the only reason that I'm kind of even going to die is because of the EP that my brother and I released earlier this week.
like a problem in its own solution. We'll want it to mix down. Um, but if you know anything about music, you can like software synthesizer, you can mix them down like an 8x speed. They'll mix them. You can just export them into a wave file. But hardware, 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 hardware. Hardware has to mix down itself. You can't get the mix hardware down to real time. Not, not super fast time like you can on a soft set. So, you learn very quickly to make it a. I made a track a long time ago. Um, it is super. 50 minutes long, um, and I had to mix it down real time. this up.
it was just a, uh, like a, an old ass Mexican restaurant. Yeah. 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 Put it to streaming services because I get flaky when you start trying to upload 60 minute drives to them that are continuous play method, you know. So I've learned a lot about that. Um, it's a little more weird than that. I never released it, I don't think. So I re released it uh, to all services with the new Thunder and stuff in it. And then I have a video on YouTube. All my videos are on YouTube as well, but I have. I uh, don't know why YouTube is being so weird. Uh, there is one that you guys have not heard at all. I put it out. So the funny thing is, so I actually did another video that you guys probably don't know of. Uh, share. Let's see. Copy link. Here's this one. I used one of my older tracks, one of my tracks I did this year. And I put it on to videos of fireworks. We went saw Fourth of July fireworks. Really nice show, like eleven minutes of, of uh, explosions happening. I love fireworks. Um, so I actually did a song or an album called Space, right, from the KLF. Um, I did my rendition of it. Oh, there's significant changes 
I need to put that out on because that is released. I need to upload that video to Bandcamp. Order the Solar Temples released. Uh, anyway, Space by Kale by Space, aka KLF, aka Time Lords, uh, did an album. So I did a reenactment of it. So I am actually on the KLF Reenactment Society page because of that on the KLF, uh, the KLF's website. So yay me, pretty cool. Uh, this was a while ago, good Lord. Here we go. DJ Renegade, this is what space, this is what Treadway is all about. Share, copy the link. Put it on Twitch for you guys. It was a fun album. Uh, I'm not going to lie. And it, to this day, it still gets like lots and lots and lots of, uh, it gets lots and lots and lots of, uh, what? Uh, frack happened. The fucking audio didn't record. Oh, let's save the project now. That's five. Obviously not meant to record this tonight, uh, even though I want to, I would love to release this. I, I really think it's done. Save it. So we'll call it final. Uh, in the next couple of days, I will be uh, on Twitch to actually, uh, we'll actually save it, and yeah. So anyway, some cool video stuff for you to look at. Uh, I think what I will do tonight is upload the video for that one track on uh, Bandcamp and call it a night. Um, thank you, folks. I appreciate you very much. Y'all have a last evening and my glasses are dirty God. filthy some for some reason like I love these ugly glasses but they are hell to keep clean total hell to keep clean, and I don't know why. You wouldn't think that the air was that dirty, but it is. Not ridiculous. You ask me. Oh, now one side's clean. Now the other side got dirty. Oh. Okay. Much better. Okay. Uh. It bothers me because the glare off the screen is, uh, it's, you know, it's immense. Okay. Significance comes with attachments. I can upload that video. Uh, 
and video. I put that over on my server. over on my video file. We'll see what the video looks like here. I don't know that you guys have actually ever seen the video. That's always something cool. I have a Synology. Uh, mass. I have a Synology server. So while this is uploading, if you want to see this video, I will put this on. Come on, here we go. Significant. Wrong one. WTF, mate. Such a maroon, what Bugs Bunny used to say. Here we go. So I uh, actually was coming home from work one morning and it was raining raining like hell. So I had my hand up like this with my phone and 10 would it all the way back from work to there and then I used uh, Vegas video and post-processed all the lighting coming off of it. Lightning and stuff. That was a pretty cool little video. I wish I didn't have to drive with uh, windshield wipers, but I did. Significance 
comes with attachments. Just an added little uh, fun piece here. It's kind of cool because it looks like the light's coming in the rain from, to uh, my car through the windshield. Finally, got some good rain here this uh, this last week. Sad to say, but we could use a little tropical depression to come in and dump about 10 inches of rain on us. We'd be in good shape. recorded in MP4. They're not good, it even looks good streaming. I used to do lots and lots of photography. Uh, I still have several cameras with multiple lenses as well. I just haven't done any in a long time. Photography like this uh, can become very is the video. So I hope you kind of enjoyed that. Get me an ice cream cone. Do you want something? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Just some ice cream. So yeah, there's that. Uh, that video was pretty cool. Turned out pretty decently nice. Updated the video there, so that's good. View the track. Got a blue skies. There it is. So I also need to, I don't know if it'll let me do it. I don't even know how long the damn thing is. Space. This is what Treadway is all about.
six gigs. Oh yeah, I recorded that like uh, way too huge. Uh, yeah. They won't take a six gig file. They'll take like a 600 meg file. On um, on Bandcamp, like 600 megs MP4. That's probably about as much of a uh, file as that will allow. So I will use FreeMake and make it a lot smaller. Because I think it needs the, uh, I think it needs that on there. Uh, it's on my YouTube, but it's not, not here. And I want to say that it is 600, 600 megs music, space. Edit. It's, well, I'll be at gum. Because I uploaded it as an album on 12-24-2020. I like to release an al a song or something or some, some type of media uh, right before Christmas. It will not... But it won't let me do it this way. Recommended video settings. Maximum video upload size. Five hundred megs. So we'll have to compress this biatch down a little bit more. Steel. So that's real interesting. Here, let me put it over here. Damn one. Uh, so if I put it a custom size for mobile quality, 640 by 360, it's 557 megs. If I go to 
video of 320 by 240, it puts it down to 329. Isn't that interesting? It's amazing what all you learn while doing this stuff. I didn't realize there was that big of a jump between the two, you know, but it's a hell of a job. It'll take it a minute to process this. So Yeah, cool. All right. Um, we are just chatting now at the moment. I guess I could put on space for you guys to listen to. As I don't know that you've ever heard it. So, okay, has this finished? Almost. It's just crunching. That is just crunching pure numbers there, folks. All that is. Wow, they got listening parties now. That is badass. I can't wait to try that on Bandcamp. Uh, and there's a way to do live live shows on Bandcamp. I may try that at some point. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool, actually, to be able to do that and host a live event. Um, That would be pretty freaking cool. For sure. Well, okay, guys. Uh, hour 14 into this. I appreciate you all. Thought I was going to stop earlier, but I didn't. Uh, now I have. You've got some cool stuff to look at there if you so choose. And uh, this is Renegade. Have a blessed night. I'll see you here in a couple of nights. All right. Peace.